G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at how to mentally subtract numbers from one another. Uh, these are going to be bigger numbers. We had a look in the last video at subtracting just two digit numbers from one another and how we can do this mentally, left to right. And we're going to be using similar techniques in working out how to do these with bigger numbers now. Uh, and there is a couple of little extra parts on this that are really worth knowing. So if you haven't seen that last video, I really recommend you go have a look. But you could probably get by without knowing it as well. So yeah, if you did, you know, you, you might be okay. So there's a couple of different techniques we're going to be using with this, depending on the type of subtraction question we get. So I'm going to start out fairly simply. So you were asked to take uh, more tried into an example. The first type of mental subtraction that we're going to be looking at is where you get a question like this. So you get 583 and you're asked to take away 271. Okay. Now, this is a fairly easy question. Now remember that we're trying to do this mentally as well. So don't just uh, start going, okay, well this take away this and this. How you would do it are how you do it written down. See if you can start trying to do this mentally. I'll do a bit of writing here to try and explain things, but uh, try to do this mentally as much as you can, okay? So you're probably going to realise with this that 271 is made up of three parts. It's made up of 200, it's made up of 70, and it's made up of a 1. So we're going to take all of these off our 583. This is nice and easy because there's no carrying across required. Okay, so this is our first type of question, a nice easy one, no carrying or anything like that. Okay, so 583, and I'm going to take off 200, then I'm going to take off 70, then I'm going to take off 1. And I'm going to try and do this all mentally. So this is what you want to be able to practice with these. 583, 383, 313, 312. Okay, oh, to 300 and that's the way we're writing twos these days we've decided to write them like this so it's 312 okay so you're going to see with this I've only written this part up here for your convenience uh, but we typically don't need to do this and I think a few people are going to be fairly okay doing these straight away so say we, I'll give you another example of this so you had 936 and we're going to take away 725. So how are we going to do this? Okay, 936, 236, 216, 211. Okay, do you see what I did then? So I went 936, take 700, take 20, take 5. It's okay. So, do you get the hang of those? Okay, what about, I'm going to give you uh, the next type of example that we'll be looking at, because they're fairly easy, I think they're fairly basic to understand. But say you start to get questions that are a little bit different. Say you start to get, say, something like this, where we have 687, and we want to take away... And I'm going to start out fairly basic with these as well. 298. Now you're going to see with this, this is not a number where we're going to have to actually borrow here. But what you're going to notice is that 298, we're going to be looking at this number first off. It's fairly close to 300. Okay, so we're going to round up this number to 300. And to do this, you're going to see that we've added 2. Okay, so I'm just going to write this as well. So this is where we've added to. Just just to remember these for the minute. You won't need to do these as much, uh, all this writing, when you're first, when you're doing these a bit later on. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take off 300 from 687, but because we're going to take two too many, because 298 is two uh, less than 300, we're going to add that two back on afterwards. Okay, so 687, take away 300, is 387. We're going to add that on to get 389. Okay? Alright, um, so that's a nice easy way of exemplifying how we do that. So we're, we're going to be taking too much off or occasionally taking a little bit 
off and then taking a bit more off and I'll show you how we, we're going to do this. So I'm going to go through a bunch of examples and we'll deal with them as we go. So say you had 304 and we wanted to take off 185. Okay, so hopefully what you're going to see is this is getting closer to 200. But to get to 200, you might realise that we need to, we're taking off 15 too many, okay? So I'm going to put a plus 15 there. So when we do this, I'm going to get to this how to work these plus 15s and that out. Because at the moment we're sticking numbers fairly close to hundreds. I've done this on purpose. But I think in a second I'll show you how to find these numbers out fairly easy. And then we'll get back to these again. So 304 take away 200 is 104. Plus 15 is 119. Okay, now they're fairly basic, but I just want to get to this stage where, say, you were given something where we wanted to uh, take off a, a, a number that, and the number was 346. Well, you're going to see straight away this is not close to 100, and some people do struggle working out what number we'd need to to get up to 400. And I'll show you how to do this. Um, and the way we do this is through this idea of complementary numbers. Uh, and I'll give you an example of these. Say 46. It's a complementary number. is a number you would add to a 46 to get 100. Okay? Uh, and the really, really easiest way of doing these is think of what number you would add to 4 to get 9 and then what number you would add to this units one to get 10. Okay? So, 4 plus 1 equals 9. It's 5. 6 plus 1 equals 10 is 4. Complementary to 46 is 54. So 54 would be the number we're adding on. Okay, what about a complementary number for, um, say the number was 73? We're well, going to see straight away. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Our complementary number is 27. A lot of things to remember, isn't there? What about this? Uh, what about we had... 68. Well, you're going to start seeing these quicker and quicker. This is going to be 32. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So these are our complementary numbers. We'll get back to our questions now, now that you know about these complementary numbers. Actually, let me just jot down a couple of these. Say you had the number uh, 84, 19, and 27. So what are the complementary numbers to these? You're going to see this one is 16. This one is going to be 81. This one is going to be 73. Again, these numbers add up to 9. These add up to 10. Easy. Okay. Let's do a few more of these subtraction questions. So say we had uh, 219. And we're going to take away... Oh, actually, that's a, it's not a really great number. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to take... Um, about 455 and we will take away 319 okay so how are we going to do this the complementary to 319 first off this is going to be up to 400 the complementary to that is going to be what it's going to be 81 yeah okay so let's do this uh this is going to become a 400 okay so 400 take away, uh, 455 take away 400 is 55. 55 plus 81 is 136. Okay. Another example here. What about we do um, 1682? 1682 take away 385. And so you're going to see the complementary number to this is 15. This is going to become a 400. It's 1,682. 1,682 take away 400 is 1,282. Plus 15 is going to be 1,297. Okay. Uh, now there's a couple of slight variances. You're going to start varying these a little bit depending upon the question, uh, what makes more sense to do. So say you were given something a little bit different. Say it was uh, 693 and I saying take away 
302 from this. Well, the easiest way with this might straight away be actually this is just going to be using that first method. Okay, uh, but say I did, I'll make this a bit bigger and I'll make this 307. Okay, I think the easiest way to be is I'm going to round this actually to 300, but then I'm going to take away 7 more. Okay, so first I'm going to take away 300, and then I'm going to take away 7 more. So this is going to become 393. 393, take away 7, is going to be 386. Okay, so there is some slight variances with these. Um, anyway, hopefully you're finding these not too bad. Just start writing down a few of them by yourself and practicing these. It's, it's a really great little method. Uh, you, you should be able to start getting these really, really rapidly. I'm just hitting this stage. I'm just writing them down randomly and while I'm talking. And you should be able to start even working these out. So what's the answer to this one? Give it a couple of seconds, see if you can work it out. Uh, you're going to be taking off 600. This is going to be adding 29 to it. So we're going to end up with 1,428. Take away 600 is 828. 828. 848. 857. Anyway, hopefully you find this method handy. If not, don't use it. Okay, anyway, see you next time. Bye.